Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your bonus reading for mid-May right through to mid-June. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. A little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading. I did do a mid-month money reading and I will do a love reading in the next couple of days for you. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight to your reading, Zed. What do they have in store for you today? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide me to the messages of what my beautiful Sagittarians need to know regarding their bonus reading? Can you please guide them to any further messages that they need to hear? Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm truly grateful for those. Ooh, okay, for those of you who are joining my channel for the first time, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card. I believe that is uh, my energy and not what the message is for you. Everybody's different. There's no wrong or right way to um, do this. Okay, let's get straight to your reading. I just want to see. They want to receive it like this. Okay, so. Sag, we're slightly off balance here um, for this uh, mid-May bonus reading. There is some sort of uh, disagreement or some sort of argument going on between you uh, and another person. Perhaps there is, uh, perhaps it's connected in some way to, um, was it uh, Cancerian's energy? Because I did a reading there where Cancer, they started off with a similar um, energy of this sort of, you know, um, cabin fever type thing right now where you know you're feeling um, disinterested in things that are going on at the moment maybe disinterest in stuff that you uh, you know thought you were really emotionally connected to now this could be a person it could also be a project it's something that uh, before your emotions were truly invested in okay because we've got the cups we're dealing with a uh, water element things that speak to uh, you know that sensitive emotional uh, vibration that you give off and before it seemed like you were completely in tune with this energy and it's something you were striving for really connected to in partnership with and uh, now something's off balance okay so this could be some sort of disinterest in um, the person that you are currently involved in or uh, you know there is some sort of um, argument going on there there may be a temporary separation uh, going on with regards to you and another person this could be a friendship also um, because it's someone you're strongly emotionally connected to okay now the, the 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 two of cups often speaks of lovers okay so there could be some sort of breakup on the cards or you're contemplating that or you're feeling that something is coming your way regarding that either way there's an argumentative kind of energy surrounding uh, the beginning of uh, this bonus read here um or you feel like someone is disinterested in a connection uh, that you thought was, you know, fully supported there, okay? Um, so at the moment, because it's uh, the Two of Cups, you're giving me it on a romantic level here, um, but it could also be connected to someone in your family that you truly, you know, love and, you know, have a very had, because I'm feeling there's a lot of tension here right now, you have a really close uh, bond, but there's just something off. There's out of balance going on. It's a waiting game for sure. Uh, we have uh, the, the Three of Wands there. There is a frustration that goes with this card, okay? Uh, the Two of Wands as well gives that sort of energy of waiting for things to happen. But, you know, um, this is also be feeling really fed up that um, when you get this card in the upright position, it's, uh, you know, Wands are passion, things that you're strongly emotional about. Again, you know, that you, you have this, you know, you want to get out there, you want to achieve. And when you got it in the upright position, this is, you know, travel, expansion. You're waiting for being able to come back in together with people, you know, back into contact, and you're just waiting. You're waiting for uh, something to change with regards to this situation. Okay, things are out of balance and it is definitely a waiting game for you with regards to this person or this situation. Um, but you want to expand in some way. Now this could be um, to do with a project, as I said earlier, um, right at the beginning. They're also giving me this feeling that, you know, you're kind of fed up with what you do. You know, you thought you were emotionally invested there. You thought it was, you know, a project of love. And now you're really weighing up the... Um, the things that you're doing at the moment, thinking, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to 
And actually, you really do, because you got uh, the three of uh, wands here. You do, but you want to expand. You want to step up to the next level. You want to be able to travel. I mean, Sagittarius, this is your energy. You are, you know, a wanderer. You love adventure. You love um you love being, you know, passionate about your environment, uh, exploring new um, avenues, as well as exploring the world. You know, you're the itchy feet of the, the Zodiac. You like to get out there and, you know, see what the world has to offer. And right now you're stuck and you're just waiting for this time where you can get out there and um, almost, you know, refresh your energy and, you know, just you want to shake things up, but you realize you have to wait. And that's why it's frustrating with this card. Now, again, um, they're connecting it to this uh, partnership in some way. Now, this could be because we've got the wands next to it. This could have been a very passionate um, partnership with uh, you and a lover or your current significant other at the moment, you know, um, because it's a union that's in reverse there. Um, it could be someone that you um, have a high level of commitment with, be it, you know, uh, you, you've, you, you live with them or you're engaged to them or you were thinking about you, you're actually married to them. That sort of high level commitment. And you're just waiting for things to change, waiting for the passion to return, waiting for you to get out and get new energy. Okay, but they're also giving me uh, something to do with business here. So if you are with a business partner that you really thought you trusted and had a lot of time for, um, there is something off. There is some sort of uh, disinterest in the business, perhaps. There's some sort of headbutting uh, energy going on there. Now, I'm only connecting this to the Cancerian reading because this is a similar Im I uh, energy that I'm getting um, from them at the beginning. Okay, now that does evolve into a very positive outcome, but it really feels like uh, you've got this similar energy right at the beginning of the reading. So there may be something in the Cancerian placement, you know, or, or in the reading that may resonate with your situation also. Yeah, is a positive outcome. Okay, the sun uh, will come out as it were. This is a material happiness when you get this card, but it's also a joyous emotional happiness that comes. So they're just basically, it's a short lived kind of uh, separation or breakup or disinterest, short, uh, you know, this argumentative energy. It's because of this cabin fever. It's because of this frustration that you're not able to get out there and travel. And you know, when you're stuck with somebody or you're stuck with a certain um, energy long term, you start to breed contentment. You start to really like things get on your nerves. You know, if someone's cutting their toenails, it sounds like the loudest sound in the world. And you're like, damn it, I just want to, can you just stop that? You know, it gets too much, even though the sound may be quite small normally, and you don't even notice it. They're just giving me that image. It's really bizarre. But, uh, you know, it could be anything like that that just really sets you off because there's this cabin fever. But please not, do not despair. Actually, this is a wonderful energy uh, and outcome. It's a successful outcome with regards to the partnership, be that in a romantic partnership or business partnership, uh, there will be a successful outcome, okay? The sun always brings abundance and freedom. As you can see, that, that figure there in that card is free. They are uh, just naked and bounding out into the world. Now, I'm not saying get out, they're naked and bound into the world, but that's the freedom kind of element that you really are uh, longing for right now with that three of wands. You just you just want to get out there and expand, okay? Now, in terms of business, also, this is a successful outcome, uh, both on the financial front, but also uh, the emotional uh, contentment that comes with it. Achieving, it's an achievement card, you know? Um, so uh, we're really looking at quite a lot of uh, excitement to come um, on the other side of this disinterest or this stagnant kind of energy. Um, it will um, definitely come to fruition, okay? Uh, now, Le uh, th the sun is like a Leo energy here, so you could have been dealing with someone who had a bit of an ego, and th things just clashed, the, you know, and it was a passionate clash, but it was at a stalemate for a little while because it just got really frustrating, okay? But things are going to work themselves out and for a happier outcome, okay? Page of Cups in reverse, though. So this person was really moody, unrealistic expectations in a relationship, okay? They really had... Uh, they expected something that maybe you couldn't give them or uh, vice versa. It is a, a water card again, so we could have a placement like P Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but this person expected something from you and you were like, oh, that, well, that's really unrealistic. You know, th that's, not, that's not possible. And they got really moody about it and that's why you're judging this energy, okay? So um, 
it feels also like uh, when you have it in the upright position, you know, uh, someone pops on in by surprise to offer you a new love energy, okay, uh, or a new love offer there. And right now you're feeling there's no love here right now. It just feels like I've got an empty cup. There's no surprises. I want surprise. I want adventure. I want the sun. And right now I haven't got it. You know, I've just got this boring sort of... Um, uh, how, schedule that's like, you know, I'm repeating, it's like Groundhog Day, okay? So you're really feeling, will it ever change? Yes, it will. You have the sun, which is major arcana. That's the major umbrella of changes that will uh, bring a, an important change to a, a life um, rather than minor arcana, which is always, you know, things that happen day to day, you know, that sort of thing. So that page of cups there is this, again, clarifying the stagnant energy between you and this person. It does um, connect to the, the two of cups in reverse here. So you feel like there's no surprises left in this relationship. Where's the romance? Where, where you know, what's going on here? I, I, I don't feel support. I just feel like moody, um, unrealistic expectations, asking things of me that I just cannot give you right now. Um, you know, wh what is the point? Now this could be vice versa because they just, uh, sometimes they uh, indicate the flip side. So they have on this occasion indicated a flip side. It's not always, but this time they have. So you, you know, this person's really immature. Okay, they're really, um, you know, there is a desire with this card also for, you know, to split, go your separate way and have your, your independence, okay? Because you feel like this person is suffocating you. This energy is just too much and you want to break free, okay? And that's what they're giving me with the sun card. One of you or both of you, because of this cabin fever energy, you want to break free from this, uh, this stuck energy, okay? And, and have some independence because you're feeling like there's too much put on your shoulders with this right now and it's just feeling really antsy and uh, you know you want surprise you want romance you want all this wonderful exciting stuff but right now it's not happening it's like Groundhog Day you know we do the same thing we see the same faces you say the same thing you know it's like morning how are you good you hey how's things yeah it's just this mundane mundanity type thing that you have going on there Thank you so much, Spirit. Truly grateful. Um, they are giving me two cards um, connecting. Thank you so much, Spirit. Uh, connecting that do uh, make me think that, uh, you know, you want to separate from this uh, connection here. Like it's not serving you and you're just waiting until you can just get out. Okay, you want to get out and have that freedom. Now, that could shake up the energy. We'll find out and get some clarifiers shortly. Um, it could... Uh, give me some uh, indication that you want to get out and once you've got this free energy that actually um you know things will right itself you know there will be that joyous outcome but right now there is this desire to just break free okay i'm seeing yeah the emperor you know you are um yeah they've connected it back to business uh, that's the same situation uh, when it comes to if you're dealing with a business partner okay because they're saying um you know this person isn't pulling their weight, they're dependent on you to make the decisions and they're being very immature about the situation and you are having to step up to this emperor type mode energy, okay? There is a lot on your shoulders, Sag. They are asking a lot of you. With this, uh, this um, major arcana card, this is an Aries element, so somebody could uh, also have that Aries placement somewhere, but this is about taking control, leadership, strategically planning for the future and you know getting everything in order so uh when it uh the, the first card and the, the middle card are the strongest of the reading so if you're dealing with a romantic uh partnership here you know you're having to take the reins and just you know um lead the way as it were and plan everything in the household or plan everything in the relationship and you know you don't mind doing it because uh, you do have the, the leadership qualities you know you're a fire element uh, you lead with passion enthusiasm and uh, achievement is always on your mind um, but you know sometimes the emperor a lot gets put on him and he feels like he's stuck he, he, you know, he becomes a bit rigid in his ways. And, you know, what about fun? What about going out and just letting your hair down and just having, you know, that sort of um, freedom? And uh, you're feeling like you can't do that right now. You, you're stuck in the position of having to um, make all the decisions because someone feels, it feels like someone's kind of checked out of a connection here. Now, um, 
also uh, in terms of business uh, partnership um, with the sun I mean you, you're you're going to expand and there's going to be a lot of success a lot of abundance a lot of money coming your way with regards to your business okay whether this partner you're dealing with uh, is supporting you or not you are taking the reins and it's going to be very very um, fertile okay um, there will be a, a huge expansion and growth uh, with regards to your business because you are taking command okay with that energy now you you're using your charm your courage to boldly move forward uh, move that business forward so you realize the other person is just not um, they're not helping in any way shape or form and you have to do that in terms of a romantic relationship this person may um, you have to step in your power, you have to put your foot down and make some rules. You don't like having to do it, Sag, because you 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 know you want to be this carefree spirit, okay? But also, you're having to do it to and see if this pl person will play ball, step up to the plate in the relationship, or you're out, okay? So you, the, there may be, well, we haven't got any swords on the board right now, so we'll find out if communication happens. But right now, this is how you're feeling. You know, um, you, you are sitting in your power, though, with this situation and going, you, you know what? I really am uh, self-sufficient. I kind of really don't need you. Um, and if you want to just uh, be this immature, bratty kind of kid um, that actually is not serving the relationship any longer and is completely imbalanced, then I'm standing on my own two feet. I, I, I don't need you. Okay, this is the energy I'm getting here. So please do not shoot the messenger. Um, there is potential for there to be a happy outcome. Okay, but I really need some swords to find out if you're going to uh, communicate with one another as to how you're feeling. Because when people don't communicate, you know, as I come back to that, you know, that sound, even the smallest sound that the other person is making is amplified and annoys you or the other person because there's no communication. There is a, a deeper uh, subtext going on, okay, that neither of you are discussing is what I'm getting here. Um, but let's uh, find out a little bit further. Thank you so much for it, guys, growing angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians with regards to the situation? What else do they need to know? Thank you so much. I'm ready to receive now. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Wow, I mean, there, there has to be some sort of placement here. Uh, well, we get turned up in that. Uh, it has to be some sort of placement here with um, Cancer. I mean, you're pretty much getting similar cards here. Okay, so uh, let me see how they like to receive them. Okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, yeah, this, this has become a huge burden, Sag. Uh, with regards you you feel like you're having to work too hard for this connection uh, whether it's a romantic connection or a business uh, partnership or something to do with your work you're having to work too hard for the returns that are coming towards you okay it's completely out of balance there um, so you are uh, disinterested and you want to put that burden down and uh, the arguments are just too much look at that the arguments are just getting way too much here with that five of um, uh, wands there it is uh, how can I put that? You know, there's a lot of challenges that you have to get over in order to um, make this uh, return to balance. Um, you know, you feel like there's... Uh, it's it's not mind games because we're not dealing with uh, uh, swords. It's more sort of like, you know, um, things being said to provoke. To It's like there is a stuck energy here in the relationship in some way. Um, and in order to have some sort of reaction from the other person, uh, they need to prod and goad and try and, you know, get you to react. And you're done with stuff like that. I mean, that's that's childhood playground crap, okay? And you don't need that. So someone is trying to press your buttons, especially with that five of, sword, uh, five of wands energy. Someone's trying to press your buttons so that you give them a reaction. It's a toxic um, headspace to be in with this person because... They're doing it to uh, feed this ego, as I, I said there. Um, they could even, because we have the emperor, they've also connected to, to, it's like this person reminds you a little bit like your father, okay? The, both the good points and the negative points. I mean, they don't look like your father. <laughs> That's That would be weird. But um, it's more the energy. You're like, my God, you know, ah. they just know how to tap in to something that really irks you, okay? And they're doing it because they feel also that, um, this stuck energy being, you know, 
that groundhog energy, there's, it's just out of boredom so that they can get a reaction from you to see if you still care about them, if you still got passion for them. And the, okay, they're giving me some, one second. So they're saying that if, uh, if I, if I was uh, prodding you continuously and you give me a reaction and argue back, it means you still have feelings for them. But if you are sort of like, you've given up and you don't even give a crap, you know, you don't even engage anymore with what they have to say, then they know that they've lost you, okay? Um, there is that sort of energy, okay? So there's a bit of fighting going on there and um, it's to press the buttons and it's just becoming burdensome. Oh no, they've asked me to, yeah. They said, this comes first, this comes first. Um, yeah, so you need to put that burden down, okay? Because it's it's just too much, okay? There's a lot of stress with this. It's exhausting. You, you know, you need someone to step up and yeah, we've got the hangman in reverse, energy so yeah the suspended energy I was talking about at the beginning this person may be selfish you know they feel like the victim here and you are like you know what the jury's out on you I've got to go away and have some thinking space I need to you know get a different perspective on this you know do I really love you anymore is this what I really want anymore is this what you want anymore I mean there, there is unless they step up the game step up to the plate and um, you know own their power as it were then I, you know I feel like you can you can go solo you know you, you you're very self-sufficient sad you, you just don't you don't need this person you wanted the connection now this is again either in a romantic sense or in a, a business partnership sense um, either way it could also be a family sense because we're dealing with cups and emotions you know people you're close to but you're getting a new perspective and the other person does not want to get that new perspective okay so we've got the hangman in reverse there and they're being very selfish okay but you need to get new perspective um, now we do have the seven of swords in reverse and um, swords okay first time the swords have turned up on the board which is communication you know things to do with what's going on in the mind the intellect what people are thinking and we got the seven of swords there it's in reverse and it feels like there is a uh, you know you realize that the energy is punishment enough that you're stuck in this kind of cycle and there is a making amends with this card this card is an apology it is making amends and coming together and then realizing i'm going to get some clarifiers i mean in the clarifiers if we have the two of water uh, turn up again but in the upright then you do realize that the strength of two of you together is more important than being without this person okay more important than being right okay um, but we do have a making amends with this card so um, there is some sort of apology coming away or a realization because we have the hangman they may realize that they're being selfish they may realize that they have been playing the victim because you know the hangman even though he's in reverse there he's still on the tree of life he's still getting the knowledge that he needs it's whether um, they decide to uh, and it's not male or female they have just corrected me I say he because it's a he in the card Male or female, it's, it's not a gender-specific reading, it's about the energy. So this person is still getting uh, the download, as it were, um, of what, what they're doing, their actions, and what they need to change. It's whether they decide to take that on board and make that change. And it looks like they do, because you have the making amends card, you know, the apology card. How can we make this right card? Um, and it is through conversation because we have the swords energy. Okay, so there will be um, that energy going on there. Now they have asked again from this deck. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide me with regards to the situation? I, ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's coming together. Okay. There. Ir, blah, blah, blah. Let me get my tongue uh, right in my mouth. There is a reunion. Okay. So making amends, coming back together, a reunion with this after separation okay or after a stepping away after a, dis a disagreement arguments a breakup as it were of some sort of relationship you come back together okay and it is a celebratory time it's you've been through the worst of it and you're just back on side okay again it wands you realize you are really passionate about each other and you know you want to be together and you know both as friends um, if this is your um, work partnership here or a family uh, partnership but also as lovers if it's a romantic partnership that you're dealing with because it does speak of both here in that two of cups reverse um, 
it, so you're coming back home. It's like a homecoming. So you may have been separated by this person and not been able to co communicate with them until the very end. Uh, in a uh, how you in a uh, there. Just give me a word. One second. Oh, the word is helpful. Uh, maybe you both weren't able to communicate with each other in a helpful way until uh, they're giving me the second week of June here for this situation. Um, the stagnant energy shakes itself up round about the end of the first week of June into the second week of June. Some communication happens and then we have this um, coming back together. And, uh, you know, we got half the victory read there. So they pointed it out saying, you know, you're halfway to success in this partnership. Uh, don't give up now, okay, because you will be victorious. It is a victory card. It's half the victory uh, has been won already. Um, so it is time for celebration once you both decide to make amends. Now, if you want those things. Um, now, also, they've just uh, indicated that um, you may come together as friends and make amends there does not mean that you, uh, if you don't want to be in a romantic connection, because you do have the page of um, cups in reverse, as well as the two of cups in reverse, um, the love may not be there in a sexual sense, because you feel like there is burden, is too much arguing. So you may come together and make amends, but remain friends and want to seek this new um, avenue of uh, adventure elsewhere, okay? Uh, because we do have two uh, separation breakup cards, but, um, they're really indicating highly that actually it is a coming together of being back together in the, the sense that you were before. Okay. Yeah. Divinely guided new passion. So there is, it's almost like this whole thing happened to, uh, to make, to reignite your passion for each other. Okay. Um, this is a, an urge to be creative together. So, you know, you could be coming back and by creative together, I mean, as in, you know, uh, have this, um, you know, make your relationship anew. Okay. Start from scratch. Remember the passion that you had for each other. Okay. Now this is also a very inspirational card. It's a gift from the universe. The wands always speak to creativity, what you want to achieve. So if you're dealing with this project, as I said, that you may be fed up with a project, or what you work as, and you're like, really, is this what I want to do? Uh, once you get the chance to expand, they're again giving me the second week of June, um, what, then this new project or new opportunity to show people or your workspace what you're made of creatively uh, comes on in, okay? There is a huge uh, urge to create. It will be very fruitful, very fertile. See those leaves coming off uh, the, the wands there? It's what you're passionate about, what you truly hope to achieve. It's almost like you regain the passion for what you do already, uh, but you were just having a lull. You were having that groundhog feeling, that fed up feeling, you know, the suspended, frustrated energy. Um, but it is passion, new passion coming back for both your projects, whatever you, you know, work at, but also your relationship. Okay. It's divinely orchestrated. They've brought it in as a gift because you had to learn some lessons here. The hangman was present. So you had to learn those uh, lessons and get a new perspective. Realize that relationships can't be 200% passion all the time. People get burnt out. Okay, there are going to be lulls in the uh, in the relationship. There are going to be groundhog days. It's about maneuvering and uh, not maneuvering. What's the word? It's a, yeah. It's about um, moving around those energies, using that ebb and flow in the relationship. Where it's okay to have dull days, but if you feel like someone's not stepping up to the plate or is invested in the relationship in the same way that you are and has a disinterest, then obviously you need to address that. But they're, they're just, uh, you know, the, the passion is definitely rekindled, okay, as we're in the second week of June. Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, but in reverse. So this is a, this is a couple of things with regards to, uh, they've given me, uh, one is there may be some repair work that needs to be done around your home. Uh, things like maybe a boiler breaking or, um, you know, not, <laughs> this is so random, bizarre, I, I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, something may be breaking ar around the house there um, that needs fixing. So uh, some money that you have saved, you thought, oh yeah, I've saved that. Some of it may be needed to be used to fix something around the house that has um, sadly um, just kaput. It just, I mean, you may have seen that it may be happening, but it just 
cut out one night and you need to fix it you need to get it fixed so that's what they're giving me with this one which again as i said very bizarre but they give, it's quite specific for somebody out there um but also this is a reminder that when you uh, get this wonderful new project in or this new lease for life about what it is that you do that you know of course you've got ambition of course you've got fire in your soul uh, once again sag after a period of feeling fed up um, but they're they're asking you to be mindful about perfectionism with this card um, you know you want to do things to the best of your ability and even more better than that okay so your eye for detail you're you you're critical about you know things that you create um, th they're saying you know you always do the best of your abilities don't think that it's not good enough it is absolutely good enough and perfectionism leads a person not just you said but leads a person to be never happy with what they um, create or they turn out okay so they're just giving you that little message there with regards to your work um but they're, they're saying you know keep focus because this is a lack of focus card here um but you know th there's a lot of abundance coming but they're just saying um you know with that uh, money coming on in there is some money going out on some sort of repair work so they are really giving me me that and they they're asking you to really focus on your work but be mindful about being uh, too precious about it okay um because you would never turn out any shoddy work anyway but when we're overcritical about our stuff there is a, a tendency to be um more stagnant we stop ourselves we prevent ourselves we put those boundaries upon ourselves and we don't uh, step into our full power if we are thinking we're not good enough or this perfectionism that's going on it actually stops us from reaching our true potential so they're just giving you that message there with that particular card thank you so much spirit guides going angels can you please guide my beautiful sagittarians what do they need to know i mean you absolutely have to thank you so much oh that's like too many but let me see Okay, they say first three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. King of Cups as well. Okay. Um, I just looked at the King of Cups, but they said that's not for you. So it's not, it's not for this reading. Okay, so um, they've asked for the first three. Um, and we have it in this order. So uh, Queen of Wands there. Okay. Now again, fire element. So it speaks to your element, Sag, but this is a Leo energy. This is sitting in your power, in your beauty, being feisty and confident. So after just saying, uh, you know, don't be too precious. Don't think what you are achieving is not good enough. It really is. Be feisty and confident about what you do. Okay. So this self-assurance comes right on in. This is a this is just after, well, it is actually towards the second week of June into the third week of June. Uh, they're saying you're going to sit in your power there, okay? And luck is also on your side. You've got that lovely lucky cat there. Um, but this is what you're passionate about. And uh, you are back on top. You're queen energy. Once you've been out, you've been out of balance for sure, then you step into your power and you're leading. Okay, you have that wonderful... Um, emperor energy as well that is the masculine even though you, you could you could be a woman out there it's about the energy we all have masculine and feminine energy that kicks in when we need it the most in order to deal with life's day to day and um so you've got that wonderful leadership respect strategic planning but you're also feisty and confident about what you do again okay so it's almost like you've had a bit of a wake-up call about what truly is your life purpose or your path okay that's not just about this uh uh, relationship it's about your work situation here they're giving me a lot of work now and um, because they feel like um, the love situation is taking care of itself okay so uh, okay they've also given me uh, that you have everything you need it is all within you you have everything you need it is all within you okay they've given me that with that card um, they too want this one first, uh, which is, yeah, so you're back in tune, you're back in balance, okay, 
and you're able to help the situation and the situation can also help you. There is a generosity of spirit that comes again, second week of June there. Um, perhaps you and this person, after your conversation, you decided to help each other to see where you're both out of whack, out of balance there and what needs to be done in order to level up the relationship. Okay. You're giving some advice for sure. You are giving this person who, you know, they, they seem to have disinterest or something. Uh, you seem to be, you know, helping them out where they can do better, as it were, with regards to what you truly desire. Now, we have, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, you, you have a, a very fair exchange with the universe with this card. And this is, as I said, second week of June there. Um, the, the giving and receiving mode always connects to universe and to spirit. And it reminds you that... Um, you know, with that connection open, you are ready to re receive your true abundance there. Okay. And look who steps up to the plate. Okay. So the person you're dealing with, as I said, this is so crazy, like so crazy in tune with cancers, uh, reading for the bonus that you, you may want to check that out, or you may be dealing with a cancerian or someone who has a cancer placement because it's, it's really, really similar. Okay. Um, even down to the exact cards that we're getting here. Uh, now, so Knight of Cups, this person gets back on track and starts to bring romance back, okay? So if it's a romantic partnership you were dealing with there, they step up to the plate. They want to be your Prince Charming. They want to be able to give you some romance. They did need to be guided. I mean, how boring, sad, you didn't. Nobody wants to be to have to guide someone how to be romantic. But, you know, we all have certain things that we consider romantic that the other person doesn't even think about. Or, you know, so a little bit of guidance, you, you help them back on their track. They want to be your knight in shining armor. I feel like there is a tendency, Sag, because you are so self-sufficient, you are so sitting in your power, which is absolutely the right thing to do. There are certain people who are a little bit immature. They get a bit... um intimidated by that energy and feel like they're not needed okay so uh, that's the the energy they've given me there uh, sometimes when people are so independent uh, other people may feel like they are not needed because th that person that they desire has got all the things that they need they couldn't possibly need love or you know they don't have anything to bring to the table okay so th there is that energy but you know, they were acting in a lower vibration, in page mode, okay? A bratty kid, immature. They are stepping up, okay? They are learning, for sure, they are learning, um, but they are stepping up into a higher vibration energy and they want to make this work, okay? So um, once they realize that they are necessary in the relationship, that they are needed uh, in that relationship, then they do come forward more with, uh, you know, romance and, you know, they want to make it work. They want to be that person who, you know, I mean, it's not about that old English kind of like uh, a knight in shining armor coming to save a, a princess type thing, but they do want to feel needed on some level. Okay. This is also true. If it's a business partnership, this person comes in with a proposal, um, possibly to expand, uh, the business and make you interested in it again with some sort of, you know, emotional contentment, a lot of love for what you do. Okay. Um, but ultimately you have this romantic, um, offering um there for you okay it's so interesting um normally i get clarifiers with uh this deck uh, but they wanted to go on with uh this one the the um, rider weight to row um which is unusual um so we are going to get um some clarifiers here not that many because um they've gone the other way on it uh, they've asked for four so far, but we've got three. So we'll see with the clarifiers. Um, yeah, so let's see what they've got to say. <laughs> Did I not say at the beginning of the reading, if we get two of cups with the clarifiers, uh, then that just says it all, okay? So we got two of cups with the clarifier reading. In fact, the first card. I love it when spirit does that. It's so exciting. Um, I get goosebumps. Okay, so this is being back in balance. And even a romantic proposal, okay? Stepping up to the plate. They want to feel needed. They want this uh, wonderful energy to be back in balance. As do you, once you have worked out the kinks of everything that was going wrong, that stagnant energy, so you're back in balance. The, there is some sort of proposal coming on in there, okay? So you'll be leveling up on the next stage of your relationship. So if you are in, just in communication and you were having like a, a relationship that was um, 
they're giving me long distance, but I'm also seeing if you just don't live with each other right now, um, then you, you move to the next stage, which is moving in together, okay? Or making it official, as it were. Or if you already live with each other, then there is a, a, a proposal coming for marriage. And if you're already engaged, it's actually setting the date and starting planning, or even planning for, um, you know, uh, something that levels up. Maybe children, but that's I'm not feeling that right now. What I'm feeling more is about being back on the same page, being back in balance, having the same goals there, okay? There's a lot of love here and um, you, you, a lot of harmony, okay, um, to be had. But this stagnant energy at the beginning there is just putting, you know, and disinterest. you feel like someone's disinterested in, uh, you know, arguments and things like that. It's just too much. It's too burdensome. You just don't need that. There's a lot going on in the world at the moment to have that on top. You need someone who is with if is with you all the way and supportive okay so spirit is just giving you the clarifier that what the outcome is two of cups you're back you're back on track okay yeah there is no ending here okay there's you're still unfinished business kind of thing okay there is no ending this is a new start with each other okay a recovery a forgiveness a moving on from the situation is what i'm getting uh here for this connection okay judgment but judgment in reverse um there was an error in judgment with this and th there was a fear of change okay so there may have been some sort of it's just like cancer's reading it's crazy there may have been some sort of job offer that came in or is coming on in um something connected to work that was making things off balance as well okay so there was a fear of change with regards to this um relationship um, and also some sort of denial, okay? Um, a person was in denial that, you know, there's nothing wrong, even though there is some sort of disinterest or in then arguments. And you're like, N how can you say nothing's wrong? You know, we're arguing, you seem disinterested. I want to be romanced. I want to be wooed. I want all these things. You're not stepping up to the plate. I'm doing, I'm over giving to compensate. Okay, that's why I'm feeling sad. You were overcompensating to make this float, this relationship be in somehow skewed, balance but it wasn't this person wasn't in their own power okay so that person was in denial they thought there's nothing wrong here why are you making why are you making things seem wrong there's nothing wrong um thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please go this is so weird okay they've given me an image and i do not know how this even okay i don't even know how this connects to anybody out there but they're giving me an image of a hog h-o-g hog okay like you know a hairy pig type thing uh and it's just smiling i don't know what that is about <laughs> but it's like a hog do you call somebody a hog are they a hog i mean do you have hogs does anybody keep hogs i mean surely nobody keeps hogs but anyway um yeah so they're giving me this image and it's like a happy pig okay <laughs> it's like one happy but hairy pig is that who you're dealing with i don't know it's making me smile so i mean it can't be half bad but uh Ooh, sorry, my wrist just gave way there. Um, sorry, I did hurt my wrist. It is it is healing. Uh, it's nearly there, but occasionally it just kicks out. Thanks so much, Spirit Guys, for your ankle. Can you please go? This, this little hog is up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of abundance to be had here. Uh, King of uh, Pentacles energy. A lot of, um, you know, grounded, uh, reliable, practical energy going on. Um, you have solid offer here of love, but also um, practical leader, someone stepping up, but also both of you being a wise uh, investor in your, your finances. Perhaps you'll be pulling finances together, okay? But this is a Taurian energy, um, but it is a solid practical uh, offer um, with regards to your relationship. And, you know, there will be finances involved. So as I said, maybe moving in together, pulling your finances together in some way. Obviously, uh, proceed with caution. I don't, you know, whenever it comes to pulling finances together, I get a bit cagey. I'm a Scorpio. I mean, hey, I don't trust anybody, as it were. <laughs> or, or so they say. Of course I trust people. But anyway, um, yeah, th there is this solid offer here. But there's, this, again, speaks to the Sun card. Um, it connects to the Sun card. A lot of material happiness, a joyous outcome, success, abundance on its way for you. And it seems like you're back in balance. You know, it threw you off balance, so you couldn't actually think about your finances, okay? It's so interesting um, that, you know, you you had a lack of pinnacle cards show up there because, um, you know, this uh, 
thing was like putting you off balance, the situation. So you couldn't focus on it. Um, they have asked for one more to close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angel. Mm. Well, you got to. Let me see. Oh, wow. I love it. Okay. So you have the Queen of Wands again. Yeah. So this is you. Remember, Sag, even though it's a Leo uh, card there, um, you could have a Leo placement, but it's remember. Remember to have confidence. Remember to be self-assured. What you do, Sag, is so unique. Okay. You have a unique voice, a unique way of doing things. You, ha you, you have to have the confidence to go with it. Second week of June, it all slots into place for you. There is a lot of leveling up and, you know, keep that feistiness about you. That's the passion, okay? That you, you, it, that part is sustainable, okay? But um, just remember that sometimes things, you know, they get a bit Groundhog Day. Well, yeah, maybe that's why they're showing me the hog, Groundhog Day. I did mention Groundhog Day at the beginning. Sorry, I'm a little bit slow to catch up with spirit today if that's what they were giving me. I do apologize. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, hog, happy hog. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, the Queen of Wands, she's, she's manifesting everything she truly desires now, okay? So the relationship or this partnership, if it's in business, the relationship is back in balance, partnership is back in balance. How you feel about your job is back in balance. You've got a new fire in your soul for everything you do after a period of feeling really fed up, okay? So look how free she is. She's just dancing and also... When she is able to, um, you know, action what she truly desires and get out there, you know, um, you have a double, oh yeah, you have double Queen of Wands and double Ace of Wands, okay? So this new project that comes on in there, oh my gosh, does it set your soul on fire, okay? This is a thing that possibly you've been waiting for for quite a long time. They're giving me second week into the third week of June for this, um, and this new new inspiration it's or this urge to create this new passion for what you have and for who you have in your life you're on fire sag it's crazy you know you got a lot of freedom it's like you just want to i just see a little i know this figure here is a, a woman but i just see it's like a little girl or a little boy just twirling around and around and around just feeling so free and easy okay that's the energy you want okay and you've got this wonderful uh, divinely guided timing uh, with regards to this project. It picks you up right at the time that you need it, okay? You step into your power right when you need it. And, uh, you know, just have confidence in what you do. Do not overthink anything. Do not think that you're not good enough. And forget that whole idea of perfectionism, okay? It only blocks you. It, it doesn't aid you in any way. Whatever comes from your soul, and they keep giving you that sentence, it's all within you, okay? It's all within, you've got everything you need, it's all within you. Whatever, uh, you know, is your ideas or, you know, your urge to create, it's going to be beautiful and it's very fruitful. You've got the king of coins there and you, aces are always divinely a gift from the universe, okay? So pay close attention to what's going on there. I mean, I don't, I'm not an advocate for people to like, look at all my videos, I'm just, you know, um, you look at your, your sun, moon, or rising sign, whatever suits you best, I'm not going to say, yeah, go check out my other video as well, just so that I get people to watch my videos, that's not what I'm here for, but it's crazy how uh, this really resonates with cancer, cancer in some way in their reading, okay, so uh, check it out if you want to, I I'm not forcing nobody to do nothing, they just brought me back to the cat as well, you know, a lot of luck is on your side, that cat, uh, you may even have a cat in spirit because they've just said pay closer attention. So you may have a cat in spirit um, that, I mean, if you believe in this sort of thing, that you feel like sometimes they're still with you and there's a cat, um, then that resonates for you. But they're giving me that hog image. Uh, maybe it's because of Groundhog Day, but they're really showing it to me. So it's really important that I've used the word hog or that I'm seeing hog. It's really important for somebody out there, okay? And they're also giving me ice cream. Okay, like the 99 with a flake ice cream type things. Um, something that if you went to the beach, you would have. Um, you may not be able to have it right now, but it's something that, you know, is a connection with you and the person that you're with. Uh, it's something you share together uh, or you have a, a happy memory. It's like, I wish we could be back then. I wish it could be like we were back then. It's almost like someone's giving me a snapshot of two people having these ice creams and laughing. Okay, uh, that, that's what they're giving me there. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, they haven't given me, no, that's it. So we're just going to give you um, an angel oracle card before we go to close the reading. We want those. Thank you so much. Fresh air. I mean, who does not want that? Okay, um, Sag, you more than anybody, you want to get out there and you want to feel that sun on your face. You want to feel the wind in your hair, on your skin. You love to feel, you know, travel, have your feet on the earth see new things, you've got a hankering for that, of course. Um, so to be cooped up in this, uh, you know, uh, lockdown mode, this is not serving your soul. Um, but if you can get out there for your walk, you know, and you can get out to some sort of fresh air, you know, greenery, grass, trees, then absolutely do it. But if you cannot, open your windows. Let the energy shake up, okay? Because you'd be surprised when the energy is shaken up, even in around the house, um, it really helps. So it says here, your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. Okay, long gone are the days at the moment where if we have an argument with somebody, we can just storm out of the door, smash it, close, and walk out and go out for a walk for however long and walk the energy off. We can't do that at the moment, so it's all pent up. So, you know, uh, they're, they're a walk or anything being out there, it really shakes up the vibrations, really shakes your energy up, and also gives you a positive um, higher vibrational outlook on the situation. Okay, and we have ask. It says here, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by as many universal, universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Okay, so if you need any help with any of this, ask your spirit guides, your guardian angels for guidance, and they will give you some signs. Okay, wow. Okay, as soon as I said they'll give you some signs, peanuts. Peanuts, are they a sign? Why am I always getting signs to do with food? I don't know. Am I constantly hungry? I don't know. They're giving me um, peanuts. Now, you're either eating peanuts, someone's just eating peanuts. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is currently eating peanuts and it's really loud. Um, I don't know, but they've given me peanuts there uh, as a signifier. Um, but they're, um, even if you're walking and you see a peanut on the floor, how's that even possible? Um, they're giving you signs, okay? So, uh, and a little gold bell, a little gold bell as well. Apparently a little gold bell is a signifier, a sign that uh, they are around you and waiting, you're, you're, um, waiting for you to ask for help in the situation and then they will help. Like they're always around us, but there is free will. So we can go about a situation, go, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating, I wish it would change, but maybe it doesn't change so quick. You could ask, oh my God, this uh, situation is so frustrating. Uh, guardian angels, spirit guides, if you could help me change the situation, that would be awesome. Please help. Then they can action what they need to do, okay? They, they await your call. They, they cannot, they do not intervene unless you're in danger. They do not intervene uh, otherwise, okay? So I'm just going to give you, oh, no. They said no, not yet. Okay, we've got the universe has your back card. Thank you so much for it, guys, guardian angels. Sorry if this has gone on long. They, 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 they're giving long ones these couple, last couple of days. I'm just here for the messages. There's no time for me, okay? Um, we have energy flows where my intention goes. Okay? Very important. Energy flows where my intention goes. So if your intention uh, is on negative things... Um, Obviously, it will go that way. But if your intention is to raise the vibration of this relationship, for example, then it will go that way. There is work along the way, of course, but there has to be intention behind it. And it says here, oneness is my true nature. Okay, that giving, receiving card, that oneness with the, uh, the universe will help you level up and have your abundance come to you quicker. Um, but remember, the oneness is your true nature. Remember that we are all connected. No matter what, we are all connected in some way. And uh, remember that uh, we all have similar feelings, okay? So if someone is being an a-hole to you, yeah, we can just walk away from that. We don't have to be an a-hole back to that person because um, 
it, we, we gain the karmic debt, as it were. Uh, so remember that we are all connected in some way and raise vibrations. That's the way to navigate uh, situations to a higher uh, outcome. It says, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Okay, absolutely have faith in the situation um, for the highest outcome that you would like. Okay, Sag, um, these messages are only guidance for what they're giving me. Um, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, that's love for people, love for what you do. Things will be presented to you. I feel a lot of passion for your uh, work coming back with this project, okay? And it puts you, it's like it puts you on top of the world. It, put, it sets you on fire here. It's divinely guided, okay? Um, just remember um, that you need to always walk forward with that love. Um, that will always see you through, okay? Um, they're giving me this gold bell again. Does someone ring a bell? Um, I'm hearing as well like a, a chime, gold bell chime. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys, for the angels. What else my beautiful sad needs to know before we go? Okay. Um, ooh, okay. So we have a couple. So we have the B. Okay. So B, you got to work at it, baby. I mean, if you want to remain in this connection or this partnership, a lot of work has to be done. You're not afraid of hard work, Sag. You really aren't. But they're also giving me that this is a signifier as well. This is one of your signs. A worker bee is a sign for somebody out there with regards to this. Just to, uh, a sign to let you know that they are with you. They got your back, but you need to ask. You need to ask. So a bee is a signifier for somebody out there. A worker bee. Okay. Um, but yeah, work needs to be done. And also, this is about, you know, your life's purpose. Working at your life's purpose and having that passion for it. You know, the things that you do day to day. Um, it will... Uh, it will work out for the best and it will bring a lot of abundance. Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the Queen of Wands. Work at your confidence, they said just now. Okay, work at your confidence, Sag. You need to raise that level of confidence. You, you've got feisty in there. Just bring it, just bring it out, okay? You, work on your confidence. Uh, you got a feather here as well. So divinely guided, uh, protected also. Um, but uh, that your angels are around you. Uh, you are not alone here. Um, you are being guided. Um, and also your feather may be a signifier uh, as well. Um, oh, they've also given it to me in the upright. Someone uh, is has a quill in writing. That's what they're giving me with that. Someone has a quill. That's very fancy. Um, in writing or drawing. They're using a quill or has been given a gift as a quill or is about to give a gift as a quill with ink, like a little bottle of ink type thing. Wow, that's really ye olde style. Um, so yeah, that's really beautiful. Where would you like this? Okay, you're being guided towards your abundance and to a happy outcome, okay? Um, they've given you a key, okay? And it's a key of peace. And uh, it's for a peaceful outcome, but you need to unlock everything that is not serving you right now with regards to this and talk about it. Okay, so it's unlocking your destiny, unlocking your higher vibrations. It will bring a lot of peace. Um, okay, so yeah, they just give me that. They'll give me something else uh, about a lock. You've got the key, but you need to find the lock. Okay, that's what they gave me. You've got the key but you need to find the lock, okay? So they want this over the hangman. There is a new perspective to come. You have to, you still have, with this work, there is something that you need to unlock, okay? Now this could be from the past they're giving me, something from your childhood perhaps, uh, that you need to unlock. You need to find the, the lock. You've got the key. You know what you need to do, but once you find the lock, then you can, um, th then it is complete. You can unlock it. So there is something maybe, um, yeah, they're bringing you back to this father figure type thing. Um, yeah, something on to unlock there. But you, you've got the key. You just need to find that lock. That makes sense to somebody out there. Um, and we have Pegasus, okay? Very beautiful spiritual being. Reaching for the stars. Being beyond the stars. The hope that comes from that. Being unique. Believing in the magic of the universe. Believing in, uh, you know, yourself. And that magic. Rising up, okay? Sag. Also, 
you know, the archer on a horse flying off. Uh, there is a, a tenuous link there to that <laughs> because they just gave me the arch, the Sagittarian sign in my mind. I feel personally it is a tenuous link uh, to give you with that, um, but that's what they've given me as a, a um, an indicator to it. Um, but they're asking you to just, you know, believe in yourself to rise, okay there? Um, thank you so much. Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the sun card as well, the abundance. Thank you so much. Um, okay, that's the end of the reading. Sorry it went on a bit long, uh, but it's as long as it has to be. Um, I hope this resonated for some of you out there. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press that little bell. Apparently it's important. It lets you know that uh, I update my next message and it lets me know that it resonated for you, which is very important for me. Okay, my beautiful Sag, thank you so much for spending your beautiful time with me. Love and light.